we get started talking about adrenal fatigue? I love PowerPoints. They say so much more with pictures than I can with <laughs> words. So in the beginning here, though, um, I wanted to talk a little bit about the anatomy of the adrenals. Um, anybody who knows me very well knows I love anatomy, and I stuff it down all the foot zone people till they're a little bit tired. <laughs> so that's where we'll start today. Um, you probably already know that your adrenals are sitting on top of your kidneys, and you have two of them, just like you do with kidneys. But the thing I want to point out to you is that the adrenals, like the pituitary glands, are actually two glands in one. Part of the adrenal is a glandular endocrine system part, and the other part is a nervous system part. The glandular part is called the cortex, and the nervous system part is called the medulla. Now, nobody cares about those names, but the point of that is when you talk about adrenal fatigue, you have to realize that there is both an endocrine issue and a nervous system issue. I think it's interesting, too. The kidneys are two organs that function as one, and because the adrenals sit on top of the kidneys, they're the only other organ that's, well, the lungs. They're like that, that they function together. They certainly do. Um, yeah, I've never heard of adrenal fatigue with just one adrenal. <laughs> it's not one or the other. It's typically both. Doesn't happen. The kidneys, though, I mean, you can have one bad, one damaged kidney and not yes, the other one. I can tell you that. Yeah. So the adrenals, you already know that when you perceive or are actually under attack, and I want to emphasize that perception thing, because so often what we are doing is not reality. I mean, we're not about to be eaten by a bear. But our perception of our reality puts us into stress with the adrenals. And when we perceive ourselves under stress, the sympathetic, oh good for you, the <laughs> sympathetic nervous system sends fight or flight signals to that adrenal medulla, the nervous system part of it. And it responds by pumping a whole bunch of hormones. These are the ones that we always talk about, the epinephrine, we normally call it okay. adrenaline but into the bloodstream. And the idea here is to enhance and prolong the neurotransmitters that are being sent out so that not only do you go into fight or flight mode, but you stay there. You stay there until the body down regulates. And if your perception is that you live every minute of your life in a dangerous or unfriendly environment, then that down regulation doesn't happen as it should. Okay, so we've had a hello from California and a hello from Texas and California. So um, we're, we're not going to do question and answers like we typically do throughout this one. What we're going to do is we're going to throw a whole bunch of information at you and kind of talk about the four different stages of adrenal fatigue and what you can do about them and what they look like. And then at the end, if you guys have questions and answers, we would love to answer them. Hello from New York. Yeah, so that's, that's kind of how we're going to handle this one. It's a little bit different, but it, for people who are coming on and watching it later, it'll be a lot a lot easier for them to get the information and not get lost. Like, what are we talking about now? And switching gears <laughs> so many times. So we're going to go through the information, and then we'll do questions and answers. And this whole thing will be available in paper format on the blog, which is butterflyexpressions.org, tomorrow or the next day at the latest. Hi from Idaho. Woo you guys are just everywhere. <laughs> Oh, fun. It is. So back to adrenal hormones. Some of the things you probably already know is that they increase your heart rate, which, you know, is fine short term. Um, raise your blood pressure, raise your blood glucose levels, and even dilate the small passageways of your lungs so that you get more oxygen. Now, these are wonderful things if you're running away from a bear, <laughs> but they're not where you want to live for a whole lifetime. So... Control your outside stress. Control your outside stress. So this medulla part of the of the adrenal gland is meant to help us with short-term stress. As I said before, there's supposed to be a down regulation of this part of your system. So if you don't down regulate, what happens? Well, let's see. The body is all set to run faster, fight harder, be more alert, and think more quickly, and if nothing like that happens, you will develop inflammation and pain and all sorts of nasty things. So short-term stress is what the adrenal medulla is about. We're not meant to run fast all the time. <laughs> run faster than we have strength day and night? No. Hmm. So the other part of the adrenal, the cortex, the part that has to do with, um, 
Oh, I'm losing my mind. <laughs> oh, camera <laughs> the, stressful. The, the nervous <laughs> system. It's just been a hard day. Yeah. Anyway, um, some of the things that it has to do with is the down regulation of blood pressure, but it also has a lot to do with rather you absorb minerals properly and rather you excrete them properly. So why would you want to excrete a mineral? Because a calcium molecule that you've already used up portions of becomes gallstones and kidney stones and all That's kinds incredible. of nasty things unless you pass them off. Um, this part of the adrenal gland affects your absorption and breakdown of fats. So, you know, I tell that to young teenagers. Metabolism is very um, important. <laughs> glucose and blood sugar levels, amino acids, it brings them out of the body when your work is done. Um, an important part of it is that it strengthens the cardiac muscle against the stress it might be going under through. And it increases your ability to retain water so that you don't become dehydrated in the heat. Um, why I can't think. It has something to do with allergic responses and... So allergies can actually be adrenal fatigue. Muscle mass and cell growth when you've caused, had an injury. And it is also responsible for the development uh, during puberty, the things that are supposed to happen there. So the point of all this information is learn to manage stress in your life and download some or throw it out or learn how to manage it or something. We have to have so. downtime. We have to have quiet, peaceful time. Um, we're going to hold off questions and answers till the end. I've, I've said this a couple of times, but I just want to make sure new people coming on realize that. Um, do add in the comments. So where you're from, we've got California, Texas, New York so far. So let us, let us know where you're at. We, it's just kind of fun. All right. So this is me. I have a cute little <laughs> artist friend who was in class and she always sits there and draws. So I gave her an assignment to draw me these cute little Draw faces. adrenal fatigue. Draw <laughs> wired for sound. Her name Serena felt she did such a good job and she's awesome. You'll just have to wait till tomorrow to see him, I guess. Yep. So this first slide is titled Wired for Sound. And underneath it, it says high cortisol and high neurotransmitters. Now the point of this slide was to show you the four faces of adrenal fatigue. I'll describe her. She's like me. She's outgoing, makeup on, running faster than she's got speed, all put together, can do everything, super like. Um, do it all together. Syndrome. Do it all, yeah. Amazing people, but they crash. And I'm, I don't crash. I just keep going. <laughs> Energizer bunny right here. Anyway. <laughs> For now, at least. Maybe I'm in stage one adrenal fatigue. As I've read through this, and as we worked through this last week, I've highly considered that perhaps I'm in stage one adrenal fatigue. But if I am, I've been there for You've about 20 there years. for most of your life. <laughs> anyway, four faces. Usually what we are talking about when we talk about adrenal fatigue is that stage four, the just plain tired. But at this stage... I don't know, it's often diagnosed as other things like hyperactivity or any one of a number of ADHD of hyperactive behavioral disorders. It can actually be stage one adrenal fatigue and a lack of good nutrition. And, and then as they move on and begin to have the energy crashes, they may be labeled bipolar or some other silly thing. And no attention is paid whatsoever to the, the adrenal fact that gland. It's actually adrenal. So the first three stages of adrenal fatigue actually have this nervous system wired aspect to them. And that's really where adrenal fatigue can be worked with and can be fixed. So I would just like to say though, having lived with a few of these super bipolar type people. people <laughs> That it's really kind of fun, all right? Mm -hmm. Life for them is them. run, 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 and they have all the energy they want for all the new projects that are popping into their eye. Into They're really good heads. problem solvers, too. They You give them a problem, and, and they've got all that adrenaline in their system, and they think it, I mean, they, they are amazing problem solvers, and they get an amazing amount of stuff done, but... Oh, Honestly, they're exhausting need, to live with because you gotta they teach think them. you should run as fast as they do. That's true. That's true. They can be very, very much that way. Yes, hmm. it is. So, but they're quick thinking. They have reflexes, just dynamite, and and they'll try anything, and they're usually good at it, but it is life on the edge, and they're prone to accidents. And, and you have to start thinking stage one adrenal fatigue. If Valerie wouldn't hit me, I'd tell you how many broken bones she had by the time she was 10. <laughs> Let's not go there. They, they do run really, really, really fast. <laughs> so what do they do about it? So the bad thing about this stage is, maybe it's good, I don't know, it doesn't last forever. The high part of it for most people doesn't last very long. 
And so you may think that you've been in this stage forever, but I've seen some low spots. A lot too. of people just <laughs> really are this way. But if if they if this isn't normal for them, or if it's like a, an attention depth uh, ADHD, ADHD, what was it when you're um, bipolar, bipolar, up and down? Up and down. You want to start thinking stage one and. The things to do for stage one adrenal fatigue would be your endo relief oil, um, AD tincture, which uh, which is adrenal tincture. That is the adrenal tincture. The the minerals that tend to burn off when the body is in this high stress mode. So the AD tincture, the BHM, KNA, any of those minerals. Oh yeah, (laughs) the overall minerals are a great thing too. As far as essential oils. was looking at a study the other day for a different project I was working on and they were talking about, it was a pretty good study, sandalwood and three other essential oils. It was clary sage, sweet orange, and sweet orange, and lavender, and and sandalwood. sandalwood. What they were doing, and so for you animal lovers out there, (laughs) please bear in mind this was overseas and I didn't do it, okay? (laughs) We just read about it. We don't actually test oils on animals, especially rats. Especially not by by looking at their brains. Anyway, what they found is that that is these essential oils were inhaled, not applied to the body, but just inhaled, that the neurotransmitters that we were just talking about in the brain actually began to leave the brain. Uh, The body calmed down, the breathing, the heart rate, I mean, everything they were monitoring calmed immediately but they also tested the urine and found that these neurotransmitters were being processed, downregulated, and excreted, which is kind of, and remember, it was just as it came over the olfactory bulb. These were not applied at all, and I was surprised by the time. They said within two minutes to three minutes that things had totally changed in the body of and lavender is so cheap i mean sandalwood's not bad sweet orange i mean these are cheap single oils um letting go was one that's what i said you know i was going to make a list of all all the oils that have sandalwood in but since i love sandalwood and the ones with sweet orange in i mean forget it but my favorites for adrenal fatigue and you know this is something that is kind of a family hereditary trait. Letting go is my favorite all-time adrenal fatigue oil, except there's one other one we'll talk about in a few minutes. What would you do with that one? Letting go? Yeah. What I used to do is wear it so that I could put it on your sweet father several times a day. Force it on him. (laughs) You bet. And good night in the evening. Uh, Just, yeah, so they unwind and, and wire down and are able to sleep, so. That's the ones I found the best. Of course, the oil energy, I mean, endo relief, because this is an endocrine system issue. As the adrenal goes down, it will take the thyroid with it. It will cause endocrine system stress. Which is why endo relief all the way through. Over no matter which place. stage you yeah. are, endo relief. Endo relief. So I'm trying to show him this cute little guy for stage two. All righty. <laughs> See, I, I, the camera's like, <laughs> it's complicated. See, he looks wired and tired. He's sick. He's got a doctor's mask on. He's so cute. But remember the wired part. The fight or flight mechanism is still in full swing. Run, 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 run. I'm sick. Cortisol levels are high. And I'm going to give you a list in a few minutes of the things that cortisol does in the body. And it will scare you just a bit. Okay. Um, Well, let's do it now. Cortisol increases the sugars in the blood. So any of you that are fighting diabetes or anything like that. Um, But it also increases the substances, that was too many S's on that word. (laughs) Anyway, it increases the substances for wound healing. I mean, it literally, your body assumes that you're being chased by a bear and that you might need some serious wound healing things. And that sounds amazing, except that those same little, little things left in the body when there's no wound to heal create a lot of havoc with your joints and with your bones, especially with your joints. It's a recipe for osteoarthritis is what it is. So cortisol also curbs all the non-essential functions when you're running and fighting for your life. You probably don't need your digestive system much. You're going to run from a bear. You don't. Not too concerned about your immune response. You can think about that later too. All reproductive functions set down, shut down, and all growth processes shut down. So, anything like that that you might be needing, um, no. But almost worse is the emotional side. It's like mood swings, motivation to create and 
and succeed Energy. are just gone. You're in protection mode is where you're at. But the levels of fear and anxiety will go right off the charts. So and it, anything you know wouldn't have scared you before scares you now. It's exactly right. You lose your perspective on what is frightening and what is not. What that does to the body, if you could see this whole picture, it says underneath that it says allergic and infected as the immune system goes into defense against everything it can think of mode. Even a small cut on your finger will infect horribly as the immune system kicks in. Yep. If you've joined us in the last few minutes, comment, let us know where you're at. We've had some from Utah, so we've got California, Texas, New York, Utah, Idaho. Let us know where you're at. We're interested. Um, oh, be, fun. Yeah. So I don't get to travel to teach. No, you don't get to travel to teach, <laughs> but we're, adrenal fatigue is, is a, it's a hugely important topic in this day and age where we tend to run so much faster than we actually have strength. Yes. So we are we ready so to talk wired, about tired, to do? allergic and infected? That is stage two. And that's why the little guy has the little face mask across his face because he comes down with everything all the way. So solutions for stage two. Well, here we go. <laughs> Pretty much the same thing we had before is the adrenal toner. But there is another thing if they're well, both men and women. But what I have found over the years is that men tend to at this stage, they don't absorb minerals properly and they don't eat properly. It's like a short term a short term solution to what you're feeling is to dump caffeine in it or sugar or something or energy drink to kind of deal with that short term crash of energy. And so there's a tincture called MH stands for men's, men's herbs. If, if it's a man, don't, don't take it if it's a woman. <laughs> and I need to add to the notes that we'll be publishing that the ginsengs are also excellent for both men and women. And if they would just, Okay, go take the men's herbs, go take the ginseng, and then count very slowly to 120. They wouldn't need the caffeine <laughs> or the sugar to pull them out of to the pull thing. Them back so up. At this stage, you've added the fear and the um, anxiety issues, and so your tranquility is a, is a wonderful thing. This is the stage where they get diagnosed with diabetes because the blood sugar levels or hypoglycemia because the blood sugar levels are all over the charts. What we have found is revitalize oil on the feet. Um, there's an energy maneuver where you put the oil on your hands and on your fingers, and I was going to go get my little plastic I have feet. cute feet, and I'm not embarrassed. <laughs> you guys just... Anyway, hold on. We'll rearrange we'll our whole rearrange selves. Rearrange our whole selves. And put feet in front of your feet. And put feet up in your tits. All right. So you're going to put the oil on the palms of your hands and then get it on your thumbs. You're going to grab the feet. How are you cross your palms? arms. Cross your arms so you're thumbs are right there just below Use this one all right just below the big toe and the little toe and you just literally sit there and hold and let the energy balance if itself you're energy sensitive after a couple of minutes you will feel ouch was my toe. <laughs> you'll feel it balance you well and you'll feel a pulse under your thumbs just a little bit you want the pulses to be equal on both sides because the adrenal glands are two halves of one whole. So, and the oil she's talking about doing that with is revitalized. revitalized. But every once in a while, you need to mix it up, or maybe just do both and add millennia, millennia. to that. Millennia is structural realigns anything that might be out of place, and it doesn't just do um, the physical. We think of the physical so much more, but it will also realign things energetically. And if your adrenals are going down, you've got an energy stressor there somewhere, an energetic something that that could definitely use the benefit of the millennia. After my husband's burn, he went another bout of this sort of thing, and he would just almost look gray. And I could sit down, spend three or four minutes with Revitalize on his feet and watch him, watch him change and get up and go back about his day. It was an amazing thing. So Revitalize and Millennia in that, that energetic thing. foot cross thing is kind of amazing. Now, at this stage... The body's also digestive, having digestive issues. And we talk about the same digestive oils over and over and over, but it's because of the good <laughs> ones. You've got your Inside Out, your Julia, and, Julia. and um, Easy Traveler has become one of my favorite digestive oils, particularly in this particular instance because of the emotional things. Uh, the adrenals don't go down without emotional stressors. They don't. There's a reason that you're running so fast that you can't stop and think about anything else. There's a reason you never want to slow down. There's there's emotional stressors behind the adrenals going down, and Easy Traveler is very much an emotional 
as, oil. As is Julia. As is Julia. But mm -hmm. Easy Traveler is just my current favorite. It, it's fitting some of my emotional problems at the moment. So <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, yeah, this one works. It's great. Oh, pour some uh, on your head. Here. Anna says so she's right next door in Preston. So yeah, you should just come over and help just teach this thing. Yeah, by all means. <laughs> you are pretty close. So another oil that's excellent for this that we don't think of often enough, in my opinion, is exhilaration. Yes. And the best way to put exhilaration is right down the sternum. I mean, you start at right the top the and go right down the center. It just pulls energy levels back together. What it mostly does is moderate the allergic responses that they're having to everything. Because shortly as you go into stage three and four here, as the adrenals continue to go down, the allergic responses get really bad. I mean, allergic to everything called environmental stress. You know, I mean, every, it gets to be every, quite nasty. Okay, so, a couple more. Um, the emotional I... ones is are my Believe. favorites. Believe, beloved, and ooh, I even hesitate to mention this one, but cherish. Cherish with my but <laughs> sandalwood used to be my all-time favorite oil. Osmanthus now. Is, cherish is so. expensive because of the osmanthus in it, but there's nothing that does what osmanthus will do. And so, if you're stage two, headed for stage three, and you are, you know that it's emotionally driven. But it, it's but it's olfactory order a mostly. <laughs> so order the tiny sample bottle and, and just smell it. On it. Um, when we got osmanthus in the first time, my husband told me to blend it with something and, you know, hold on to its good parts, but make it less expensive. So I did. I blended it with jasmine, which was Not cheaper, a, but a little bit. <laughs> but I really wanted but to it sure play is nice wonderful. with jasmine. So. Yeah, and then that's how Cherish was born. Cherish is awesome. And it's not one that you need a ton of because you do mostly just yeah, smell it's, it. It's I like make to put a nice it on. perfume, but... You know, a drop or two I, I will wear it occasionally just because if you think about it, I mean, my favorite perfume is made by, I think it was I'm a wood Mary person, Kay, and it, they things. haven't sold it for a long time. And so my husband bought me a bottle, and I've been kind of making it last, making it last. I will wear Cherish more often um, just because of the benefits to the people around me. And they don't know about it, and they don't have access to it, or they can't afford it. I just accidentally I soaked the inside of my leather purse with it, and it's... Long, there you go. Time. Everywhere you go, people will benefit from Cherish. That's the way exactly. to do it. Exactly. Can you get the third slide up there? The third sure. little guy's pit. Oh, it's a little girl. If they hadn't made it so tiny, it would help us a it lot. It would have helped us a lot. All right. Sorry. This I've is changed. a really fun slide. She's angry. See how red her hair and face is? <laughs> She's the angry one. So now we're not sick. Well, you're still sick, but now you're also angry. <laughs> you're still wired. You're still and wired. And you're still tired. It's just now you're hypersensitive to any kind of slight. It's almost a paranoia. Everybody's out to get you. Everybody said something and it can be interpreted wrong. And there's a lot of social anxiety. I have seen in this stage the anxiety and the jitters get so bad that if the phone rang after 7 or 8 o'clock at night, the guy's hands would shake for a couple of hours. Like, I can't, I can't take it tomorrow. I need to um, be done. Yeah, tranquility. There's just tranquility. a total, complete <laughs> inability to, to cope with one more tiny little piece of stress. And usually by this stage, they're spending a great deal of time in bed. You wonder what kind of, you know, what possible stress are they at? Meal times can be nasty if there are children in the home because they just can't handle the, the noise and the confusion and the whatever. So irritability and anger are a part of this stage. One guy described it to me. He says, it's like you see it coming and you know that it's ridiculous that you're not this is not worth shouting but by the time you finish the shot the, the thought that this isn't worth you've mentioning been shouting for you've been shouting for three minutes you know <laughs> it's, it's a hard place to go that's the sad thing about this presentation is we're going through the stages of adrenal fatigue and they just get worse and worse they and do worse by and the time depressing. to cope is in that why catch stage. it which is a major reason for why we want to teach us we want to teach people to recognize it at stage one and stage two while it can still be turned around fairly quickly and the things that we're talking about they will help but the, you have to get to the emotional root of it you have to slow down you have to let your body heal and you can give it the tools to but you have to figure out what the original stressor was what caused you to start down this path as i remember uh, being at a lecture on how to cope with stress and one guy was writing furiously all these notes and his wife 
was sitting there in bafflement going, well, doesn't everybody do that? Know that? And yeah, some of us manage stress and some of us are managed by it. So. Some of us know how it's just it. the way it is. So Okay, you again, depressed them. Now you got to tell what to do about stage three. Letting go is your very, I believe, a beloved, cherish. They deal with all the, oh, I'm not good enough and, oh, I'm having all these issues and, and I need to do better. They deal with all that, but letting go just, that's what it was named that because let go of other people's opinions of you, let go of your opinion of you. Let My go. favorite thing though yeah. is to put letting go on the kidneys, right there on the adrenals, just right there. Just the give adrenals. it to the adrenals. Or on the bottom of the feet where the adrenals are. So yeah. um, I put in my notes, I put wear it, diffuse it, put it in the tub, sprinkle it on the people that are around with you, dump it on your pillow, you know. And just, thankfully, letting go is not a there. really expensive no, one. It's not it like not. Cherish where you're going you know, to just smell it, which is good because that's how that one works. So. Unity is another good oil for this stage, but mostly it's for the people around you that you just yelled at. <laughs> they might feel a little more forgiving with a little <laughs> help. So, um, Physical symptoms of cortisol at this stage usually, although not always, include heart palpitations. It's a recipe for migraines. Um, inflammation all over the body, body aches, back aches. It's gone from joint pain to all over you, pain. It just hurt all over. The skin becomes extremely sensitive. There'll be rashes, there'll be reactions to laundry soap, there'll be nausea, diarrhea, even when they're under stress, the tendency to throw up and get sick. Abdominal pain will be really harsh most of the time. Um, an odd thing is the constant and continual hunger. I've known guys, how, how much food you need to carry for a six hour shift at work, you know, a, lot, a large lunch box. And it doesn't seem to matter how much they eat. The absorption of nutrients is way down. Low bladder capacity, always having to run to the bathroom, early symptoms of IBS, you know, allergic to Irritable. everything. You know, they're going to have irritable bowel, bowel. Which means that everything we've talked about before now, you still need, you know, depending on what, what the <laughs> symptoms, which symptoms are manifesting, if it's digestive or what it is. But on top of that, um, couple more things you can add to the Yeah, because puzzle. if you're female, the menstrual period is just gone. non-existent by now, and the hormones have gone completely crazy, so you've got to deal with all that. Yeah, the hormones. Um, KT tincture for those that poor bladder. Kidney. What yep. KT will do, and I might as well tell you right up front, is you're already having bladder issues. You're using going to the bathroom too often. KT will make that worse, okay? <laughs> Temporarily, then it will well, level out a little bit balance. for you, so... KNA, BHM, the AD, All your minerals. but you're going to be looking at other things like the CD for colon health and sarsaparilla. Sarsaparilla, because sarsaparilla deals with when you're constipated, that last little bit of your colon tends to spill what they call endotoxins back into the blood, and sarsap absorbs those and lets you pass them off without, without making yourself sick. Headache. You'll stop the headache and the nausea and the vomiting and all that kind of fun stuff. So you're going to want to be adding oils like Vitality and Key to My Heart if there's heart palpitations. Migraine if there's migraine. Migraine for headaches, deeper in pain for the inflammation. Inside out. Nausea. <laughs> I mean, anything you can do to Woman-wise for the, for the female hormone stuff, if your cramps are horrible. Or if your period's non-existent, that may not be quite an issue. Oh, that doesn't mean you can't be doing the cramps. But the yeah, you can still do the cramps or you can still do a headache that if you've never done a menstrual headache, you know what that headache feels like. And so even if you never start your period, like this is a menstrual headache and the woman wise will work for that headache. Or help. Anyway. That's why not. Reflections and synopsis for the kidneys. Myrtle. Myrtle. Myrtle because the thyroid has begun, begun to go down. I mean, it's, that's just inevitable. So. That's I want to put a plug in right here, though. Um, we have a lot of people that are going to watch this later, and I think it's mostly because we picked such a lousy time to do this live with school starting back up and everything. <laughs> I had, I mean, I usually have half and half, half people that are coming and half people that are interested. I've got 90% are interested, which means they want Facebook to let them know it happened, but they're not actually going to make it. But they're it not happen. actually out here. And now. so <laughs> when you watch this later, comment where you are. I just... I'm just curious, and I love that people are putting this on there. I'm next door in Preston. I'm in Rexburg. I'm in Utah. I love it. So even if you're watching this tomorrow, the next day, next week, tag where you're at. I'm just, if you don't mind. Besides, just it gives us incentive for the amount of work this is. This is. It does take a lot of work to do these. <laughs> I mean, it may look like we're just shooting oh, off yeah. the hip, but that, we're not. That reminds me. We need an idea for what you guys want to hear about next week. So we can start working on it. <laughs> we'll decide and it'll put up tomorrow, but we if you have an idea, throw it in there. Hey, hi, Wyoming. I should say, Deva. 
but <laughs> that's cool. We haven't seen Wyoming Maybe yet. Maybe she didn't want her name out there. No, it's in the comments. Oh, it's in the comments. Everybody can All right, see it let's anyway. go on to level four so okay. we get on to questions. Let me see if I can get you the cute another. little picture that we had drawn for us. Let's do, do, do. <clears throat> Just plain tired. Yeah, low cortisol, low neurotransmitters. And that's low, not a coffee cup, it's low. chocolate milk. What? Where? You didn't see this little mug of I'm tired. Oh. I have to back up on the screen. <laughs> it, um, we did a brand, well, not we. Butterfly Express last year was carrying some stuff called Creole Brew that was really good. It tasted like hot chocolate and... No, it didn't, but that was the thing. I liked it. Um, my husband drank it, it, it but that, that's what's in the mug. Anyway, okay, enough of my... Anyway. Enough <laughs> of my ramblings. Situation critical. All that's right. where you are. This is the stage where people too often finally get alarmed and start seeking answers, and it's kind of a hard fight from here. It's going to take a long time. You're going to go back through those stages. You're going to think for a minute, oh, I had so much energy for three days, and then the crash. I mean, it's it's just, hard. It's stage a hard, hard, hard stage. But it's better than the alternative of letting stage four become death. That's where you're And that's headed. where you're headed. Yep. The systems eventually are so tired, they shut down. And so you have to go back through those stages. And, and you're in and out of the right. hospital all the time because you catch every bug that comes around and the pituitary and the hypothalamus are totally fouled up. So you're not sleeping. Your nerves are an absolute wreck. And so you just can't live here. You just got to fight your way out of it. So muscle weakness, even faintness and dizziness and overwhelming fatigue, clumsiness, confusion. It's just a mess. And at this stage, the slightest emotional or physical stress will trigger a complete collapse I mean, emotionally and physically. There's no reserves left. I mean, when I've seen people in this stage, they often spend 20 hours in bed. And if they get up, they walk around outside for a minute and then lay down somewhere and go back to sleep. They feel like they've done a week's it's, worth of work in that little mm -hmm, tiny walk. Just walking, walking. I remember walking up the hill. I mean, that's just all that there is. And that's more than you can do. So, um, Allergies, so off the charts. The scary part here from a medical standpoint is generally they're allergic to everything. I mean, even an aspirin. Their medications that they're they can't on, take anything. they can't handle those either. So it's a really hard place to be. Um, complete bed rest. Weekly foot zones. Yeah, yeah, foot zones, in my opinion, are absolutely essential to coming out of this thing. So if you're gonna if you're gonna beat stage four adrenal fatigue, you got to do all your tinctures and all your nutrition, and you've got to get your body to where it can absorb it. The only description I know is chronic fatigue for this, and in one of the homeopathic books, the purple I'm just try one. To show it. You can't see it. It's the oh, purple you can one. Too. The, so good. The level two one. There's a whole Ooh. section on chronic fatigue, and it's some some homeopathics that I came across. I'm sorry, it was just plain a blessing. Some wonderful, Long beautiful people in England helped me solve this and sent me the stuff for it. And we've learned over the last 30 years how to use these homeopathics for this stage of adrenal fatigue. So there's several pages in there and detailed About, descriptions. Look up of, chronic fatigue and go from you there. Betcha. And there's a series of of combination homeopathics. They're low potency, so they're hard to misuse. <laughs> no matter who you are and how little you know about homeopathy, there's enough information. And we, there we can send it to you. Send us a personal message and we'll copy and paste I'll it if copy you don't want to buy the book. Absolutely. We don't have a problem with sharing information with people. I mean, we, we like I to think I already have the pages PDF. <laughs> Probably so. So it, we can times, send it so. to you, but chronic fatigue is what you're after at this point. And so bear in mind that. I don't know. I'm we're an oil company, or that's what I that's what I started. That's but what they were. Yeah. Homeopathy is my great love. <laughs> when I'm really serious about the critical stuff, homeopathy is the only answer. And essential oils are great just for everyday little things and for prevention and for, and for keeping this one, yourself healthy. But by the time you're staying for peppermint, but it, adrenal fatigue, they're band aids. <laughs> yeah, you're, you're you, you are fix, you got to pull out so. the big guns and you've got to go for your homeopathy. And heart song, the depression can get pretty bad here because it looks like they will never ever have a life. Never and they're letting again. their family down, and they're you know, and and, and if they're young. It's nothing that's going to kill them. They could live forever in that stage. And so the depression gets pretty wicked. Heart song, your grateful heart, heart. Those are your oils to combat the everyday emotionals while you deal with 
to deal with take. where you're at. It, it is fixable. I can promise you that because we fixed it more than once. Okay. Deva Martin <laughs> says that the one that was in Wyoming, she said she did thyroid cancer a year ago. And yeah, oh, that's a mess. That will mess up that's your hard. adrenals and everything else. And make you need you to watch out for adrenal fatigue very, Absolutely. very, very much. So that's all the things I can really remember that I was going to tell you. So Okay, let's open it up to questions. If anybody has any questions, and I'm going to do a really horrible thing to my mother, but they've oh, put me in my ward's primary presidency. She's going to run off and leave me here. And it doesn't seem to matter. I move things here and there, and I'm always double booked, and I can't keep up. And I sat down on my computer this morning for three hours and mapped out um, schedules for all my kids and when they need me to be where. And I thought I actually had it, and then I realized that the live was tonight and not actually tomorrow night, which I thought it was. I have no idea tomorrow why. Night, you'd have been on anyway, your own. I have a meeting in 20 minutes, so I'm going to go and drive to that and leave her to here. questions. And the um, problem is, and if, you if don't anything have any, fouls up, I'm going to be up a crit. All you have to do is push this little finish button. Taught my I, kids everything they knew about computers, <laughs> and they left me behind. Let you go. I'm not seeing any questions, and I do have a few more minutes. So... Um, Type us in a question if you any have any questions question. you have about adrenal fatigue. And, and I know uh, most of the people are watching this later as we are so close to going back to school and people are just busy getting their kids back into school and dealing with all of that. I'm still getting home from me. I am too. So, <laughs> and, so I know exactly what you're going through. My kids start tomorrow morning with they do seminary and then we homeschool. So we've been dealing with curriculum and what they're going to study and we've decided we're going to learn Spanish this year. So that's going to be. Oh, can grandma come? Sure. I grandma can it. teach. I missed it when my own kids were learning Spanish because I was cooking meals and watching. Yeah. Them. My husband actually has a pretty good love of the Spanish language and does okay. He um so he's gonna he's gonna love this. This will be his part of our homeschool this year, I think. So oh, all right, well I don't see any questions, so I guess we'll just let people email them and message them into us if, if you have any and check out the blog tomorrow night, butterflyexpressions.org and this blog you can go onto the blog now and subscribe, and it'll notify you when we when we put that up. It'll be sometime tomorrow. And all of this with the pictures. We just type nasty notes to kind of talk from, and it needs some serious help if it's going to become I've actually, a blog spot. I've almost got it ready to go up. I just well, have to let them proof for you. You think you me. do, but look at all the things I wrote on as I thought through it today. <laughs> oh, well, I can't do it first thing in the morning because i got to go to Pocatello and have the doctor try to get a bead out of my 12-year-old ear. Yes, grandma Yay. spent the afternoon Because we can't get it out. We have tried everything we know, and my darn, that thing is stuck. No, I've worked her foot till she's about to And we don't to want to do any damage, so off we go to see if they can get it out. All right. Well, so tomorrow afternoon, butterflyexpressions.org for the blog spot, and you can be able to print this. Yeah, any questions? If you think of questions, send, send them, them to us. We'll send them an email or personal message me, and we will get back to you um, as quickly as we possibly can. I'll have lots of time sitting in the doctor's office tomorrow. So. That'd be great. <laughs> <laughs> you guys are welcome. We're getting a couple of thank yous, and, and we appreciate that. Makes it worth it for us. All righty. Well, you guys have a wonderful night, and thanks for Good watching night. us. Love you back. <laughs>